If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. So yesterday I made a video talking about Young Thug announcing that Slime Language 2 is finally dropping this week. Now this comes after months, almost, you know, almost a year of anticipation and teasers. And if you kind of want to get my more, you know, I was kind of like really hyped emotionally in that video yesterday where I just went over the announcement. So if you haven't yet, go watch that video. But today... I wanted to go over everything we know about Slime Language 2 so far and collect it in this video so we can all get hyped up for this new album. So starting with kind of the obvious that I was already talking about, this announcement that we got yesterday. Yesterday, Young Thug took to social media to post the cover art of uh, the new album, uh, which is just uh, the YSL roster in like this mansion. It's a really cool photo. People really love it. They're saying, oh, this, this image is going to go down in history and all that. Um, we can also see that it has like the title Slam Language 2 at the bottom. I still think this this font and these letters and that styling looks really ugly um, but the rest of the picture is great <laughs> so uh, but still this is the cover art I think it looks dope except for that except for the title but uh, th that's kind of excusable um, kind of going over what we see in the picture is of course the YSL roster I said some things uh, that were wrong yesterday I was talking about how uh, Keed wasn't on here but Keed is actually seated right next to Gunna in you know like the middle of, of the picture the middle right um, so I was just I don't know I was tripping um, well also as I said God is not on here which I thought was weird baby is not on here um, so those are kind of the people that I'm missing but all in all the roster really grew really grew since the first project so I'm excited to hear who else is on here um, I don't know everybody that's on the cover or I haven't heard music from everybody um, so that's gonna be really exciting now kind of going over what he also said in um, you know kind of in connection to this he said April 16th the album so April 16th is this Friday so it's dropping in two days now which I think is really exciting because um, this comes really kind of spontaneous and uh, you know very short before the actual release um, we've seen him tease this thing for a year now and now it's just kind of like oh by the way in two in two days this new album drops so that's kind of what I was it was kind of weird but still I'm of course uh, uh, grateful that we're finally getting this album um, something else uh, that Gunna, for example, said on his post. He also posted the same announcement. He said, Slime Language 2 dropping April 16th, and we coming for everything we deserve. So, uh, kind of just hyping up the album. Now, one interesting thing that's happened since then, since I made that video yesterday, is that Thugger and also um, other YSL members, I've seen Gunna also post this, posted a kind of a, a short video clip. It's like a minute long it's on Instagram, IGTV, or whatever. And in this video clip, uh, we can hear some snippets. We can see them in the studio working on the album, which I thought was really cool to see, kind of get a behind-the-scenes look. Now, I'm guessing that we will get some sort of behind-the-scenes documentary afterwards because they also teased it with, like, um, the biggest family in the world. So they're really proud of like their YSL team. So I think we're going to get something along the lines of what uh, Dreamville did with Revenge of the Dreamers 3, where they made like an hour long documentary uh, with footage of them just, you know, in the studio, um, hopping from one studio room to the other and creating all the songs that we finally got to hear. Because to my knowledge, this was also recorded. Uh, over the span of just a very short period of time. I think they just all locked in for like a week or so, like uh, Cole and the Dreamville team did. I remember they were in Atlanta, um, just locked in for, for, I think it was five days or something, and they just made all the songs. Um, I, I'm guessing this is the same case for Slime Language 2. Now, getting kind of into what we know about the song so far, we've gotten three 
singles yet. We've gotten Take It to Trial, um, which is probably the, the biggest single so far. As I said in that last video and in all the videos leading up to this, I've made tons of videos about this. This was um, a song that I actually liked. It had kind of a weird history with it being announced and then already being on streaming, but then taken down again and then released again a week later. So that's kind of, there was a whole weird situation going on there, but um, we finally got it. We also have that go with Meek Mill on there as well, which I thought he really did his thing on there. We also have GFU, Get Effed Up, um, which I wasn't too much of a fan of. It's also the single performing the worst so far, but still, I, I like the single so far. They're kind of classic YSL style, but I'm hoping for more bangers on this album. We also have some snippets that Thugger posted to Instagram. We have the one with Gunna that I that we already talked about on stream and that I talked about yesterday in that other video. He posted that snippet to Instagram um, and said, Gunna, now it's your turn, so we'll definitely get some of that. And we, as always, have the unofficial track list on Genius.com, which I will have in the description down below if you want to go check out all the leaks and all of the, you know, kind of the um, premature track list that we have so far because we have not gotten an official track list yet but um, if you follow me on social media join my discord in the description so that you know you'll get notified whenever this drops I'm trying to update y'all as, as as good as I can now kind of looking into kind of the history of what the first album did the first slime language dropped back in 2018 and I really think this project was kind of the definition of of um that atlanta trap sound at the time we had big songs on here like chanel with a uh, gun and little baby but of course that was also biased because they were really popping off at the time um but that album sold 41k first week it peaked at number 78 on the hot 100 it has since gone platinum and i believe this slam language 2 project will do even better because all the hype surrounding it that YSL roster has really grown in fame since then um, we've seen Gunna and Lil Baby go superstar we've seen Thugger kind of hit a new level with so much fun so I think a lot has happened since then and I think this is going to sell more than 41k first week um, that's kind of my prediction for it. Now, I don't want to give like an estimate because I could be totally wrong. We've seen albums that I thought were going to sell way better, sell way less in the past or the other way around, vice versa. So we'll just have to see. But this is I think this is going to be way bigger than the first one because now we're already introduced to uh, YSL and this is kind of like their next step. And all the hype surrounding this album has been immense. We've seen this get teased at in May of last year, so almost a year ago. We've seen this be announced for August by Thugger. We've seen this. We've seen a listening party happen for this back in October, where uh, Thugger kind of locked in with uh, you know very selected people from the YSL crew and did a listening party. So it was close to being finished in October, and then he said it was going to drop on Black Friday, and then he released singles for it and announced several dates, but those were just dates for singles. So it was a lot of a lot of history in this project. I have a playlist that I made. Um, a couple of days ago, collecting all the videos that I've made on YSL, uh, YSL Slime Language 2 in the description. If you want to go check it out, kind of get like get hype for it, kind of go over all the past uh, videos that you know we thought it was going to drop back in August and all that. So, yeah, but let's all stay hyped. Let me know what you think about this. Are you excited? How well do you think this will sell first week? And what songs do you want to hear on here? Let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.